You see, obeying instructions of leaders lead to prosperity. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is check your choices. Deuteronomy 3019, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that have served before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendant may live. I want to look at Naaman and his servant. servant. Here we see rage versus reference. You see, everything rises and falls on leadership. Leadership is influence and nothing more and nothing less. You know, nothing happens without leadership. Nothing changes without leadership. Nothing improves, nothing develops, or nothing is corrected without leadership. In Osea 12, 13, by prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by prophet, he was preserved. You see, obeying instructions of leaders lead to prosperity. And you have a choice, you know, to be angry, to show rage, to choose rage, or reference to instruction of leaders. And many leaders have been speaking during this time, and some have been throwing tantrums. You know, uh, in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophet, and you shall prosper. In 2 Kings 5, Naaman, Naaman was an army general with leprosy. He sought Elisha, a leader in the land for healing. Elisha treated him like an average person and sent instruction to go and wash in River Jordan seven times. Naaman received the message with rage and contempt. In 2 Kings 5, 11 to 14, but Naaman became furious and went away and said, Indeed, I said to myself, he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the Lord. The name of the Lord is God and wave his hand over the place and heal the leprosy. And not the Abanaya and the Fawa, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel. Could I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned away and went away in a rage. And his servant came near and spoke to him and said, My father, if the prophet had told you to do something great, will you not have done it? How much more then, when he says to you, wash and be clean? So he went down and dipped seven times in the Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh was restored by the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Naaman's servant saved him. They chose to honor the word of a leader. How are you reacting to the messages, the instructions from our leaders? Is it with rage or with reference? I want you to honor them. Thank you.